Here in the i button and in the description box below, you will get complete playlist of Fourier series. Here, I welcome you to video number one. And in this video, we are going to see four different. Uh, we will discuss on four different topics. First, we will see what exactly is Fourier series. Basically, we will be uh, we will discuss uh, the definition of Fourier series. Thereafter, we will see a special case of Fourier series. Then, we will be discussing uh, about uh, some standard results. Okay. Uh, that we will be using while solving any problems on this series okay and at the last we will see what are those problems that we are going to solve in this Fourier series so let us start one by one so first we will discuss what is the definition for Fourier series if f of x is defined and periodic okay yes it is periodic okay in the interval a to b then its Fourier series is given by f of x equals to a naught upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos 2 n pi x upon b minus a plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n into sine 2 n pi x upon b minus a okay yes the uh, interval must be periodic okay yes if f of x is defined and periodic in the interval okay f of x is defined as well as periodic in the interval a comma b then its Fourier series is given by f of x equals to a naught upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos 2 n pi x upon b minus a plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n sine 2 n pi x upon b minus a this is the standard formula of Fourier series okay yes then we need to find what is a naught a n and b n okay find a naught a n b n put it over here the resultant will be f of x and this is what this is my Fourier series of any given uh, problem okay so let us see how to find a naught a n and b n okay for this we need to use this Euler's formula okay for this we need to use this Euler's formula yes for a naught we will be using this formula that is 2 upon b minus a integration limits a to b f of x dx okay a naught is equals to 2 upon b minus a integration a to b f of x dx then how can we find a n a n equals to 2 upon b minus a integration a to b f of x into cos of 2 n pi x upon b minus a dx i repeat this once again a n equals to 2 upon b minus a integration a to b f of x into cos 2 n pi x upon b minus a dx and at the end we will find what is bn bn equals to 2 upon b minus a integration a to b f of x into sine 2 n pi x upon b minus a dx okay so by Euler's formula we can find a naught a and bn after finding a naught a and bn use okay these values here okay then f of x, f of x is given is uh, said to be my Fourier series of that particular function f of x okay now we will see one special formula now since in the definition it is said f of x is periodic okay in the interval a to b so we will take b minus a equals to 2 pi okay b minus a equals to 2 pi because after 2 pi the cycle is going to repeat okay after 2 pi the cycle is going to repeat okay uh, so let's say b minus a equals to 2 pi in that case f of x becomes a naught upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos n x okay plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n sin n x okay i repeat this once again when b minus a equals to 2 pi in that case f of x equals to a naught upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n into cos n x plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n into sin n x this is my Fourier series when the uh, the interval size okay when the size of that interval becomes 2 pi or you can say b minus equals to 2 pi where we need to find a naught a and b n okay those are my uh, by the help of Euler formula we can find a naught a and b n let us see yes when b minus a becomes 2 pi in that case a naught equals to 1 upon pi integration a to b f of x dx okay yes a naught equals to 1 upon pi integration a to b f of x dx a n okay equals to 1 upon pi integration a to b f of x into cos n x dx okay i repeat this once again a n equals to 1 upon pi integration a to b f of x into cos n x dx 
bn equals to 1 upon pi integration a to b f of x into sin nx and dx okay how can we say that is b minus a equals to 2 pi let's say the range uh, the range is given or you can say the interval is given as 0 to 2 pi okay if the range is given as uh, if the interval size is given as uh, 0 to 2 pi in that case we can say b minus a equals to 2 pi or in some other case if the interval is given as minus pi to pi okay then that also that also will give me b minus a equals to 2 pi okay there i'll get b minus a equals to 2 pi okay so this is my special case when b minus a equals to 2 pi now let's go ahead now we are going to discuss some standard results okay now here we have sine n pi equal to 0 and sine 2 n pi equal to 0 okay and the value of n goes from 1 to infinity okay n is a natural number okay that is from 1 to infinity now the value of uh, sine okay 0 and pi it becomes 0 sine of 0 equal to 0 sine of pi equal to 0 sine of pi by 2 equals to 1 and sine of 3 pi by 2 equals to minus 1 okay yes if the value of n is 1 2 3 4 okay it means yes if n equals to 1 then it is pi and if n equals to 2 then it is 2 pi if n equals to 3 then it is 3 pi if n equals to 4 then it is sine 4 pi and we know the value of sine here and here it is 0 okay so we can say that is sine of n pi equal to 0 always okay yes now we will see sine 2 n pi is also equal to 0 because if you put sine n equals to 1 then it is sine 2 pi here which is 0 again if you put n equals to 2 sine of 4 pi again here that is 0 if you put n equals to 3 then again sine of 6 pi again here that is 0 so you can say sine of n pi equal to 0 and sine of 2 n pi is again 0 okay i hope this part is very much clear to you now we'll come to the second part okay this part is also very important yes first is cos of n pi cos of n pi equals to minus 1 power n if you if you ask about cos then value of cos 0 is how much 1 cos of pi is how much minus 1 okay cos of 0 is 1 similarly cos of 2 pi is 1 cos of 4 pi is again 1 in the same way in the same way we can say cos of pi is minus 1 cos of 3 pi is minus 1 cos of pi pi is again minus 1 okay but cos of pi by 2 is 0 cos of 3 pi by 2 is again 0 okay cos here is 1 minus 1 0 0 sine here 0 0 1 minus 1 okay yes now we are discussing about this that is cos of n pi equals to minus 1 power n okay yes if you put n equals to 1 okay if you put n equals to 1 then this is cos pi okay it means it should be minus 1 here you can see if you put n equals to 1 this is going to be minus 1 then again if you put n equals to 2 then it is cos 2 pi cos of 2 pi that is here it should be 1 here again minus 1 power 2 okay if you put n equals to 2 that is minus 1 power 2 again this will become 1 okay yes now if you put n equals to 3 that is cos of 3 pi okay it should come around this here okay like the value should be minus 1 if yes put n equals to 3 minus 1 power 3 again minus 1 now again if you put n equals to 4 that is cos 4 pi it should come 1 here minus 1 power 4 again you can see this is plus 1 okay so you need to know about this standard result that is cos of n pi equals to minus 1 power n okay important result okay now we'll see cos of 2 n pi equals to 1 how put n equals to 1 this is cos 2 pi here it is 1 if you put n equals to 2 again cos of 4 pi again 1 if you put n equals to 3 then it is cos of 6 pi again this will be 1 okay so you can say cos of 2 n pi equals to 1 always okay now we'll see yes this that is cos of 2 n plus 1 pi cos of 2 n plus 1 pi if you put n equals to 1 then it will be cos of yes if you put n equals to 1 then it is 2 plus sorry 2 into 1 that is 2 plus 1 that is cos of 3 pi 3 pi means here that is minus 1 so cos of 3 pi equals to minus 1 if you put n equals to 2 then this will become 5 so cos of 5 pi is again minus 1 if you put n equals to 3 then this is 2 into 3 that is 6 plus 1 that is cos of 7 pi again 1 okay so you can say cos of 2 n plus 1 pi equals to minus 1 always now here in the last case we have cos of 2 n minus 1 okay cos of 2 n minus 1 pi 
okay and this result will be always minus 1 let us see how if you put n equals to 1 so this is going to be 2 minus 1 that is cos of pi again you can see minus 1 if you put n equals to 2 then this is cos of 3 pi okay that is again minus 1 if you put n equals to 3 then it is cos of 5 pi again minus 1 so you need to know this to result okay that is cos of 2n pi so cos of 2n plus 1 pi equals to minus 1 cos of 2n minus 1 pi equals to minus 1 cos of 2n pi equals to 1 cos of n pi equals to minus 1 power n similarly these two results are also very important that is cos sin of n pi equals to 0 and sin of 2 n pi equals to 0 again okay now let us see what are the those problems that we are going to solve in this Fourier series yes these are certain problems very 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 important problems okay yes f of x equals to x square and the interval is minus pi to pi okay here again you can see b minus a b minus a is how much 2 pi okay yes again here f of x equals to e to the power minus x and the interval is given as 0 to 2 pi f of x equals to x minus x square okay interval is given as minus pi to pi f of x equals to root over of 1 minus cos x interval is given as 0 to 2 pi again f of x equals to x sin x and the interval is given as 0 to 2 pi all the problems are equally important okay all the problems are equally important so you need to go through each and every question and in the playlist okay in the i button you can see here okay in the here in the i button you will get complete solution of these problems okay thank you thank you so much